got ourselves another Halo Wars 2 commentary game. I am playing as UNSC, and this one is all about teamwork, which makes the dream work, as some might say. Now, I'm playing as Forge. When you're playing as Forge, gotta go with the rolling economy. Make sure you do not spend your power to upgrade your supply pad or power until you get that upgrade. So then you can go ahead and get this huge boost in economy, right? Supply upgrade would just be 160 power and then 240 for the generator. Now we're going against a full Covey team. And this usually means that it is best to go early with barracks and snipers and infantry. Mainly because... They don't really have a proper counter to it. They can use suicide grunts, and suicide grunts are actually an excellent counter. But you have to be able to use them correctly, which is why you don't really see suicide grunts being used as well as they should, in my opinion. But we already are doing work on that left generator that we see going on there. And we're going to go ahead and get our second gen before we even start getting our mini. We will send our marine back to go ahead and... Take a look at that mini base, and they're going to keep clearing out the power node, which is going to be pretty nice. So, we do have a Decimus on our side, and I forgot who our left side is. Covenant. I don't know who he's playing as, so we'll find out once we see it. I'm going to take a gander and just say Colony. Even though we had the leader screen, I kind of, you know, wasn't paying attention to it while I was starting my intro. So... Now that we've grabbed that, we're going to go ahead and send one of our infantry and the garrisons. We're going to send both of them in there. This is something that I kind of like to do early on if I know I'm not going to go ahead and have a strong early game presence. Mainly because yellow with, I believe, Atriox is going to be on that side. It's going to be a little bit hard to deal with. And look at this. You already have the grunts going after the resources there. And so I told my infantry, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get garrisoned up. We're going to need to get garrisoned units in there so then we'll be able to prepare for that when that time comes and so forge is being brought up as our fourth i mean fifth building option and we're also making a barracks on that mini base which we will probably end up making a second mini a second barracks associated with it i want to be able to make a bunch of hellbringers and a bunch of a bunch of snipers as well mainly because Red is mid, and Red's going to be playing as Yap Yap, so I want to go ahead and have that accordingly. And so another thing that you see here is that I went Mines for my second point instead of Heavy Metal. Now, the reason why I chose to do this is strictly because we're playing against Full Covey, and their like detection is two things in Tech 1. An Engineer, which you can see that with Atriox, 120%, and... Also, upgraded chopper, upgraded ghost. And I just feel like they're not going to be able to have all that stuff, all that detection. And if so, I'll be able to target that down. And I think our mines will just play a better role defensively as well for fallback positions. So as you saw, I already put it in front of my second base because I want to be able to at least be able to get my appropriate uh, base once I choose to. Great Y move by Forge, so we already took out a chopper, which is looking pretty good. Continuing our production with infantry and marines. And this Forge Hog is going to try and get rid of the remainder of these grunts if possible. So we got rid of another one right there, which is looking pretty nice. Can we get that last one? Mines went down as well, and there's that Atriox. That's my cue to get out of here. I would love to kill that other grunt if possible, but it looks like we won't be able to. But we have already started our sniper production. Now... What I decided to do was, besides self-destructing that army, let's talk about that very quick. Uh, armory is not being used anymore, so let's be smart. Let's self-destruct that so then we can go ahead and be able to get additional economy associated with it. So we're going to use Forge to start clearing this out. And I want to just start making a plethora of snipers. Right? Covey leaders are infantry units. And so... It's best to just make a plethora amount of snipers such that, look at that, that Atriox could not do a single thing against me over there. Now he had to immediately retreat because I had two snipers showing up on him. And with the amount of units that I have here, I do feel good enough to go ahead and start applying a pressure. And there you go, they have hammer bros, which, you know, that is a situation that could become a problem. And there they go, they're going to try to start pushing my snipers. But we did enough damage to push back the Atriox and now the Forge Hog is in vicinity. And they do have the de defense boost from the Forge Hog by just staying nearby it. So 
That's always pretty nice. And we're going to use this opportunity to go ahead and just try and take out the second expansion base. We don't really want that happening. Since Atriox does have the ability to get cheap second bases. And so we're going to go ahead and focus that down. We're going to get our snipers set up in position. Look at the amount of snipers we have. We have about six, seven snipers associated with our team so far. So if that Atriox shows up, it's going to end up dying. And here comes our teammate Green with Decimus and a bunch of grunts as well to help clear out this base. And now they're starting to make some suicide grunts, but unfortunately those suicide grunts are going to immediately die because we have a good spread with the snipers in general because we don't want leader abilities taking that stuff out. And goodbye second base by Atriox. So I'm going to start rotating over to mid and we're going to see what happens from here on out. We got Lotus Mines again, which is a great opportunity for us to drop in some more defensive mind. I ping to let my teammate know, hey, we're going to go ahead and see if middle has an expansion. Because the yellow showed up with Suicide Grunts, it's not something I am willing to go ahead and take that engagement with. But green is going to go ahead and try and fight this. And it does look like it's a pretty well undefended base. And it looks like it would have been the better choice to go ahead and help him out over there on that push. But he's going to go ahead and start focusing down the base. And yellow and red is going to show up on the minimap. Cleansing Beam, well, Vortex is going down. A bunch of Y move with the Hammer Bros are going down as well. Scatter Bomb's going to go down, but Atriox Brurox is also going down. And now is our time to go ahead and play some defensive mines. Definitely would have been better to place it sooner, but we set that up so that way we're going to be in a better position. And look at that. Yap Yap ends up throwing these turrets down, and we're going to have to go for a full scale retreat because we don't really have a response to it. And we have nine snipers, which is always pretty nice, but they don't really have much backup in general. So we're going to keep on trying to fall back, but we do want to try and provide cover for our snipers as a whole. We have so many of them that I think we can go ahead and like take out units relatively well. And so we were able to take out one leader, which is pretty nice before he activates. Please don't shoot. Blue is trying to come in through the side, which is always pretty nice. And now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of start retreating. But then I realized on the minimap, oh snap, Blue is still engaging this. So this is going to be my cue to try and like cut off any reinforcements that kind of ends up trying to go through on that side. And so we're going to see how that turns out. But there goes Orange showing up with a bunch of units. The leader is going to start retreating straight to me. And so now it's all about just trying to give him time to escape. And we're going to be able to do that. We have plenty of units to do so. Atriox is now on the garrison. And now we're going to go ahead and just get ready to start retreating. We, we did what we wanted to do. We're going to capture the node. Now we're going to go ahead and just start falling back as a whole. And see if we can apply more pressure on that right lane. Since yellow only has one base. They have all that going on. But it turns out my forge was you know pulled in. Which was very unfortunate. So we're going to go ahead and get that air pad. We're going to get infantry level 2. And we're going to start transitioning to the next part of our game second base it still hasn't been fully expanded yet but we are going double air pad and this is where the first red sign comes in you got banshees showing up and we don't really have much anti-air now all of a sudden a cleansing beam is going to go down too we are splitting to the best of our ability but we did end up losing a couple snipers because of that but we do have a couple snipers still alive and now we have our own banshees from our decimus in play as well so we're still making more snipers. We're going to get the grenade upgrade because we're going to need it. Actually, we're going to get the upgrade for the building, which is not a bad idea either. That building should be upgraded as a whole. We're flowing so much supply. I don't know why we haven't dropped down a Kodiak drop, but we are just going to go ahead and just keep pushing just to push Atriox out of that situation. Grunt Dome does go down, which gives me the cue to go ahead and retreat just a little bit. Vehicle drop is now ready. And we're going to put that right on our minds. We're going to kind of bait that. But if you look at the mini map, Red and orange are kind of attacking blue on that left hand side as a whole so we will be able to clear this base but it is going to come at a cost and it looks like a vortex lightning is coming down and we're going to need some heals at some point. Vehicle level 2 will be upgraded and we're going to get cloak upgraded for our snipers. Now we're going to have to start seeing if they got a base all the way on the right hand side. Blue is doing a magnificent job trying to hold that off to the best of his ability. Turns out I was wrong. He was playing atriox and not not colony so more mines are going to go down in order to you know just keep that fallback position even deeper if possible and look at that he's making banshees off this mini base so that's my cue to go ahead and try and apply some pressure on this side atriox is starting to get a plethora amount of air red is showing green is showing up to apply some pressure on yap yap 
And we're going to finally get that, that combat tech mechanic. And now we're going to just try and target down this Apex mainly because there's just so much infantry. That is kind of useless for us in regards to the flame vet. So we kind of want to lose that. Didn't really want to drop the scatter bomb. Wasn't really worth it yet. But now seeing everything that we're seeing. Please don't shoot me goes down. But the scatter bomb is going down. Which is going to give me an excellent opportunity to just go ahead and leave. Because we don't have what we need. But Green was able to do enough job. Good enough job to distract Red. To bring him back to his base. Which relieves the pressure that Blue was having on his side of the map. But I still have an incredibly... Big issue, which is anti-air against this air that has shown up. But we were able to push it back just a little bit. So that means we're going to go ahead and try and apply pressure again on that expansion base if Yellow chose to get that for a third time. And hopefully we'll be able to do something against this. We do have good siege set, set up. We do have some good upgrades for our infantry. We are finally getting the upgrade for our jackrabbit. And we have at least a little bit of Kodiaks as well. We're getting the reinforcements upgrade. And it's clear that I've abandoned the ability to get the uh, hero out at this very moment. And it looks like green is going to end up losing its base. So we're going to go ahead and just attack the base once again by yellow. In order to trade one base for another. And green still has his air. And here comes going to be what looks like a big engagement. Atrox Gurox does get popped on the building. And now we're going to go ahead and just try and focus down on the leader if possible. We're chasing him down. Snipers are locked on, which is very nice. We're going to go ahead and upgrade to anti-infantry for whatever reason. Cleansing Beam is going down on our army and we are losing so much because of it. And now Red is coming in for the flank, but there goes those mines. Those mines are just helping out tremendously. We got Siege going on as well. Now we're going to go ahead and upgrade for the Grizzly Battalion. We just need a couple more infantry units. I mean, a couple more supply and then we'll be able to do so. Blue is showing up as well to come and assist us. And it turns out he says, okay, and let's just defend this and let's just kill this as a whole. And so vehicles have shown up. Atriox is here and it does look like Yap Yap is going to lose everything that he has over here. Vortex does get dropped, but the snipers are going to go ahead and clear out what's left over here. But then Y move gets popped. Cleansing Beam gets popped. And those Yap Yaps get away. Very excellent move on his point, his part. We're going to go ahead and just keep making additional snipers to try and reinforce this. But it does feel like we have some sort of momentum. And so Blue is going to go ahead and keep on chasing this. And I'm going to go ahead and try and reinforce with Rallying Army as well. Though it isn't much. And there's Atriox showing up as well. And we're going to get ready to call in our Grizzly tanks. It doesn't look like Yellow has much as a whole. And so he's trying to take this engagement. But honestly, I don't think it's really going to work out. We just dropped in our tanks. Yes, there are some reavers, but those reavers are going to start sinking pretty fast. We don't have vehicle upgrades, but it still thinks I still think it's going to be okay in this situation. We got more mines we're going to go ahead and place behind us in case we have to go ahead and fall back. Double snipers are being produced. Please don't shoot is being called. And now we're going to go ahead and get that garage so we can go ahead and get that upgrade for vehicles. Cleansing beam is going down as well, which helped clear out some of Red's army. And now we're going to go ahead and start retreating a little bit. Mainly because there's just so much over here. So Scatter Bomb is going to go down to try to get rid of the Blisterbacks and the Engineers that were repairing all that stuff. So that's going to be nice. But Grunt Dome does get called, which is quite unfortunate. And we do have a nice blob of units right here. And so, yeah, those mines blow up. Kind of hurt my Grizzly Tanks pretty badly. Eradication ends up going down. Banshees are now showing up as well. And we do have Sniper Reinforcements that are coming in. They are getting cloaked. We are doing... Massive amount of damage on this left hand side, but our pop is getting lower, but we are now getting some Kodiak support along the way. So we still have a couple snipers that are going to keep on trying to do the work that it needs to be. And now we got additional Kodiak fire as well. We got additional snipers showing up. And now we just got to go ahead and try and seal this deal. Atriox is on his last leg and he is getting reinforced by other people. But our whole team is here. Cleansing Beam is going down to get rid of the remainder of the Reavers. We are focusing down on the base. And that base ends up getting taken out. And Yap Yap is now running for their life. We have a bunch of snipers as well. Their Atriox has now been eliminated. Their Yap Yap has been killed. Orange has disconnected. And now all that's left is the Yap Yap that is in this game which won't really be much longer and there you have it we all got together and got a very strong push on that right hand side even our decimus was able to get that second base since we had such a strong lead on that right hand side get moved his base over from there after he lost his base in mid and so great teammate 
play there. Teamwork makes the dream work. And that's why I love ranked. You know, it's it's a beauty. It really is. And so I went 32 units lost for 69, which is pretty nice. Units killed 16 for 47 by my other teammate, 20 for 29 by my other. And the enemy went 74 for 12 for the Yap Yap, 51 for 25 for the Decimus, Atriox, I mean, and 22 for 29 for the Decimus. So hope you enjoyed it. If you do, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, or comment if you feel like doing so. But regardless, you enjoy the rest of your day. Have yourself a splendid one. Have yourself an awesome one. Enjoy the rest of your week day, hour, second, and until next time, G out.